over the years of making regulators a number of people have asked why in general we tended to stick with using the conventional round section coiled compression spring as opposed to what is favoured by some the spring washer or the Belleville spring washer there's quite a large number of reasons for us favouring the conventional spring and I shall try and go through some of the pluses and minuses of the spring conventional spring versus the Belleville spring washer I'll start by going through the positives of the conventional spring and why we tend to favour using it especially in the regulator that we used to make for people to self fit the main reasons are simply reliability and longevity the conventional spring has been around for a very long time and these particular springs are extremely strong sturdy they're a one piece unit unlike the Belleville spring washers which you use multiples of and so for somebody to strip the regulator clean the spring and reinstall it is a fairly simple process and we have never had anybody ever contact us about a problem with the spring as in when I say problem I mean with the spring warping going out of shape cracking splintering uh, losing its uh, compression force how strong it is and it's not only the spring that we've been using but also like this spring that was used in the BSA regulators that you might be familiar with their cigar regulators although people over the years have said they've had a number of problems with the regulator the, the spring has never to my knowledge uh, been any of those problems it's part of the regulator but it's never been part of the problem we've never heard anyone again say about these cracking warping losing their force etc and it's the same with the springs used by a gentleman called Nick Murphy and Dave Wellham Air Masters who both tend to favour the more conventional spring no one's ever spoken to me of problems with their regulators coming about due to issues with the spring itself and so from a user point of view because it's one unit it's quite robust you're not liable to drop it on the floor uh, and damage it when you've got your regulator to pieces you can clean it easily and install it and that's one of the big advantages the other big and main advantage which we favour uh, with this spring is the fact that because it's quite long there's about nine millimeters of travel within it and so for the fitter and user to adjust the pressure output pressure of the regulator is relatively easy with one turn of the adjuster screw equaling one millimeter and one millimeter roughly equaling 15 bar and so there's quite a lot of travel that you, that you know in the adjustment and it's quite easy for the customer to do that themselves if they know that the regulator was set at say 100 bar from new and they wanted to turn it up to 115 bar then one millimeter one turn out on the screw is fairly reliable for doing that and that's a very important feature where we found in the past with the Belleville spring washers because the stack tends to be uh, shorter in length given a shorter regulator the amount of travel is also a lot less and therefore sometimes one turn of the adjuster screw we found can be between 20 and 40 bar it can be quite quite a lot and so therefore it's not quite so easy for the customer to adjust themselves and so we think that that's quite a quite a big bonus on a simple regulator for you to install service and, and use yourself the main disadvantage with the conventional round section coil compression spring over the Belleville spring washers is the size constraints in manufacture uh, you can only really get the spring down to a particular diameter uh, and length for the application where the Belleville spring washers are extremely slim by comparison so for this example if you look at this uh, BSA spring out of their regulator I'm not an expert on springs but I've worked with them a little bit 
and I would hazard a guess that this spring is really on the limits of high pressure spring manufacture in the fact that the gauge of the wire used in its construction in comparison to the size of the hole down to its centre and its overall diameter I would say that's really the short fat and as big a gauge wire that you could possibly use in a conventional uh, coil spring. One of the problems we've come across with them in this respect is when we wanted to make these very small little regulators like you see here there's the piston and that's the spring stack of Belleville spring washers and that's the knife edge face for going on to the seal uh, we wanted to use a conventional spring if at all possible because of how good they've been in the past and the lack of uh, problems and traumas that we've had with them however when we approached a spring manufacturer and they made a couple of little springs for us with whoops with the tooling that they'd got available to them if we can get them on there so you can see them trying to make a spring that's very small of extremely thick wire gauge material can be difficult and after asking other people the fact that to make it they were going to have to make some special tooling up and for the small quantity we wanted it wasn't really going to be possible or economically possible we had some here you can see this is made out of hopefully if I can get it under the camera in the right place that's made out of a square section gauge wire as opposed to the round but we couldn't get anywhere near the the force that we required where when we switched over and we had some samples come of the little Belleville washers then we could easily stack these up and get the, get the uh, force pressures that were required in this particular regulator so obviously these are quite small and you can use them to make quite a small regulator so that's one of the main benefits of the Belleville washers uh, with the regulator that was self fit that we manufactured I think having looked at the size dimensions of other people's regulators ours was between one and five and a half cc uh, bigger depending on what whose regulator it was uh, so therefore if you got your regulator fitted in a conventional rifle and you were say getting 150 regulated shots with ours if you fitted somebody else's in and it was also a 12 foot pound gun that little bit of extra air would probably give you between two and four extra shots and probably an extra shot if it was FAC so that's you know the downside of using the coil compression spring is that the regulator does need to be a little bit bigger to accommodate it but then you've got to weigh this off about you know against the adjustability and the ease of the ease of servicing so the size constraint is a very big disadvantage with a conventional coil spring